Hello, this is Mark Morris, and I'm calling to give you a brief update on my student loan. You might remember me from my previous videos where I, I paid off my car loan of $23,454 in 18 months. So you can look at my previous YouTube videos and get some suggestions. Well, I just wanted to give you an update on my student loan. Just had some trouble. I started off paying off the student loan in January of 2016. It was the amount was $93,414. Now I've gotten it down to $79,525. My goal is to try to get it below $50,000 by the end of this year. So wish me luck. I haven't had any up side jobs I've done. I'm going to make a little extra money writing articles for people who are personal trainers or bodybuilders, helping them get them clients. So instead of going and work at Macy's or maybe working as a waiter this year, I'm going to see if I can generate an extra $2,000 or $3,000 a month or every two months, doing that to bring in an extra ten dollars to $12,000 toward my student loan. So I'll give you a brief update as soon as I get the loan below $75,000. Look at my previous videos on how I paid off my car in 18 months, using like reward cards from Vons, you know, alternating between buying gas at Chevron and AMPM, and also now take advantage of those uh, reward things like at Vons or Albertsons. Food is going up, and another tip I've learned, it's okay to buy the day-old bread or just go over to the meat section. You get maybe four or five pounds of good meat for about 50% of the price, as long as you cook it within a day or two. So that's my suggestions. It's okay to buy the day-old bread. And just go take a look at the meat sections where some of the meats, you know, it just goes by their expiration date because they only can keep it in their refrigerators legally. You could get some great bargains. Until then, have a nice day.